I have to say the thing that really attracted me to doing the film was working with Clint Eastwood. Um, I've been a fan of his for as long as he's had a career, and the idea that I would finally get an opportunity at my age to work with him was just amazing. Um, and the story itself was an American tragedy. I knew back in 1996 when it happened what was going on, but I had no idea about any of the details and what was going on with the family, with Richard Jewell, with his mother. And to read about that in the script was just absolutely horrifying. When I spoke with Bobby, uh, his mother, uh, and Richard passed away at 44, and uh, she felt that, that what he went through at the time really contributed to his early death. And um, it could happen to any of us. You know, here's this guy who all of his life wanted to be a cop, wanted to take care of people, wanted to help people. He was so vigilant about that that people thought that was strange, you know? And they turned it around and made it like it was something bad and said, well, that's all the signs of a guy that's, you know, uh, has the profile. We were lucky to shoot at a lot of the real locations, and I think that the realism that you get from that is just, it's, there's no comparison. And I think for actors and crew and everybody alike, certainly for production design, to see where they lived, you really get a glimpse of how they lived, where they lived, what strata in the economy they are. For actors to know that that you are in the real place, it really helps you plug into that time in the past. I asked Clint, the first thing I asked him was, why do you want to make this movie? And the first thing is, is he said he, it was a movie he'd want to see. And then as he got warmed up, he said he really felt it was an American tragedy that this man was treated so badly by the FBI and that he was tricked uh, when he went in to uh, uh, make this training film. And uh, it was all a ruse to get him to waive his, his Miranda rights. And when I read that, I was just astounded because you think of the FBI as the G-men and the good guys in the white hats. And when you read something like that and you realize it isn't always the way and that you've been naive, um, I think it was very important for Clint to, to reveal that. Watson Bryant is fierce. He is just something else. He's, I think Sam Rockwell is doing a great job with it because he's just, no holes barred. He's not afraid of anybody, and he's tough. He's outspoken. He's a, he's larger than life, and I think he was the man as far as Bobby was concerned. He was the one to go in there and, and jerk a knot in somebody's tail. <laughs>